hello guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to once again try and see the sunset at um, i think it's pronounced Haniakala, um sunset and we're going to go see the olivine pools and a blowhole that is not too far from us so today's video should be interesting um this is technically our last uh full day here or i guess tomorrow would be the last full day yeah i think we still have enough time yeah yeah so today's thursday our flight is tomorrow night um so we're trying to do everything that we haven't been able to do and along the way we'll probably get some good delicious food <laughs> So we made it here to our first destination which is the blowhole um i'm trying to catch up with the people in front of us because i don't even know where it's at um the map just kind of took us here to like where we can park the car um, but we're gonna hike down they said it's about a mile and a half um so then that should be interesting they say you can't get too close to it because i guess it can suck you in i'm not too sure how blowholes um are but i'm excited to see what mother nature has in store for us today Alright guys, so we finished looking over the blowhole and it was a mission. Um, I only expected to be there for like an hour max and we were there for two and a half hours, almost three hours. So there is no uh, trail to get there. So we kind of got lost for a little bit and we were like trying to follow people and it, it, well, was, it was pain. It was painful. Well, I think there is a trail. It's just that we didn't see the trail because like where we stopped it wasn't like the designated area but then like three minutes down the road it said lookout and blowhole so i think there is a trail but there's not like much of a trail there is it's just basically rocks i don't know but so you gotta it, hike it down regardless. it was really painful and eric fell two times yeah fell down two times um so we're good shoes for climbing because we had to climb but i think it's because we literally went on the wrong path um, there was a like a bread station where we were so I thought that was a correct spot But I guess if you just keep moving forward a little bit more you will get to where it's where Eric said that it says um, Lookout and trail But we're going now to the olivine pools, which is only like a 15 minute drive from the original place um, Hopefully we're able to get in at these pools. They look super nice. We saw one um, Which is the one I recorded for you guys and it looked really clear um, so I'm excited to see if we're actually able to get on there, but um, we did kind of start off a little bit late, so we are still on a time crunch. Hopefully we still make it to the sunset, which, I mean, we have more time today than we did Tuesday, so I hope we can make it.
fell again. Again? Yeah. This time I cut myself. Not too bad, but I cut myself on this foot. How was your experience? It was pretty fun, but a little dangerous, so I don't know. <laughs> all right guys so we just came back from the olivine pool so um, walking down there um, it's kind of a trail that you kind of have to follow to walk in um, they have like I think four or five different pools you can go to we were gonna go to one on the side which I thought was gonna be the safest and then out of nowhere like a big ass wave came over me and Eric um, so then we're like maybe that's not the best thing um there is a little sign saying that somebody passed away there and they tell you like you're doing this at your own risk and i agree because you don't know when the waves are going to come in um it's 2 p.m right now and it's already getting kind of like high tide a little bit um so i would encourage you guys either come more in the morning or just be very safe uh, once we were able to make it across to where eric wanted to go um, we jumped in. He jumped in first. I was very scared. Um, well, I, I kind of tripped in. I fell. <laughs> I kind of had to like ease my way in there because the water wasn't too cold. Like it was doable, but I'm just a big scary cat about everything. So I just kind of had to take my time. But once I was in, um, the water was really clear. Uh, you can see little fishes in there, which is kind of trippy because you're swimming with the fish. So once I was coming back out, I did hurt my knee coming out. Um, I didn't think there was anything there and I hit myself with the rock. Um, so, yeah, I mean, she, it's not too she, bad. It's just like a little, two little scratches. I mean, you cut yourself pretty deep. And then after, when we were walking back up the trail, uh, my dumbass had my sandals on because I couldn't put my shoes on because my feet were too wet. wet. So I, obviously, you know, sandals are not good to walk on rocks. So I slipped and I cut the bottom of my foot a little bit. Yeah, he has a pretty big cut there too. Yeah, so just be just careful. Be careful <laughs> and wear the correct equipment. Um, or gear I would say. PPE I guess but I mean once you're in there there's nothing really you can do I mean now that's getting water shoes it's just very dangerous so I mean it is a nice thing to do but just be safe but right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump some gas because we're running low on fuel and then, and then we're gonna start heading up to the uh, sunset uh, that we didn't get to catch the other day but we do have like a 45 minute drive to Costco now so we'll probably get food so we're driving to the Costco and these roads are super narrow, like a little scary to be honest. Um, we just stopped to get some smoothies. Eric spotted on our way um, to the Costco, but these roads are so narrow, guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so we already had something to eat. Um, we went back to where we originally went the first time that we came um, to Maui which was um, the food trucks next to the Costco um, I got the shrimp and then Eric tried a new dish which was salmon with what salmon with like some like bok choy uh, different like vegetables it was really good I had never had it before so it was my first time trying it and it was good it wasn't too fishy um, but I only ate like a bite or two and then we also had some tacos there. Um, they were like three tacos for five bucks, which was not too bad at all. Um, those were pretty good. Just some more, a little bit of lemon would have made it perfect. And then we got a little um, dessert, which was an acai bowl. Um, and it was pretty good. Um, I would pass on it. If you don't have to get it, don't get it unless you're a fan of acai. I was heartbroken because I thought it was chocolate. Eric thought it was going to be ice cream, <sighs> but um, he didn't read that. It was clearly an acai bowl. Um, so right now we are driving up to the um, sunset. Uh, this is take two of trying to go up because on Tuesday we didn't make it um, on time. But um, right now it's 5.36 so we have... No, I, we're going to get there at 5.36. It's oh, 4 Yeah, we're right going to get there at 5.36 so we'll have an hour up there um, as the sun is setting. So I'm more excited now because I know we're not rushing. Um, we should have probably just left it that day and just came another day but... We just wanted to try to see if we can make it and obviously we didn't but um, I'm excited for that footage for you guys because I can only imagine how pretty it's going to look. We are driving through the clouds. So we have to be careful here because this is their land. We're just using it for a little bit. 
He's like, come at me, bro. Come at me. How was that? You got a little scared, I think. A little you bit. saw his face. So luckily, because we're here on Tuesday, we didn't have to pay again. This ticket's good for three days. Um, so uh, we don't have to pay the $30 fee, which is pretty nice. Um, and they gave us this little sign just saying to be careful with the ducks and birds. Um, but we only have about 25 minutes left. So we will definitely be catching the sunset today. Alright guys, so this is going to be the end of today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us uh, to the pools, the blowhole, and the sunset. I was super excited that we actually made it and we were able to experience that. I'm glad we went back because um, I don't think I expected it to be as beautiful as it was. And you had to be there because I'm sure the camera footage will be beautiful, but it's breathtaking when you're there in person but this is going to be the end of today's video if you guys did like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next one solo solo, solo.